when I said to Harry, when I met Harry the other day and he said, um, yeah. have you done your oxalic acid? I said, no, we don't think we've got any. Morning. Well, it's the 19th of January 2014, and we've just come into the bees to have a look at them, put a varroa board in just to double check they haven't got any varroa, and um, give a bit of a tidy. There's loads of leaves and loads of bindweed all over everything, so we're going to mulch the leaves and we're going to put this separate and burn it because we don't want that getting in our compost. And then what we're going to do is check whether the bees have got enough to eat. Um, and that they're still alive. So fingers crossed. Oh, that's a miracle. Yeah. So the queen wasps have been in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But whether they had enough workers to look after, we might have to feed them so we built up some stock. These are not nice ones, they're not the no, they're getting a bit they're all buzzy and no, they've they still got cat stores. stores. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well they've still got a Yeah, but you a see month it's not go, but, yeah, but it's not been as cold. I've checked the bees. Um, two of the hives are fine. Even the one that we suspected might not have survived has survived and seems to be okay. One of the hives, the fullest hive, is there's quite a lot of condensation on the top, so we've changed the crown board and the top board and just really fingers crossed we'll check next week when we take the varroa boards out that um, we've done something with the condensation but the bees seem to be a fi fine just a little cross <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird that isn't it really because it, 